on the last episode of Unburdened. Well, what the hell can we do about it? That, my new friend, is the answer we must seek out to actually save our nation. Hey, asshat! I thought we asked you to leave already. Aw, oh, crap. It was at that moment that she- Oh no, our signal is dropping. If Gator sent you to me, then he had something in mind. We need to talk. Coming in for a landing, Benny. Prepare for my arrival. Let Sorotron know that I brought the upgrade to the communication system from Earth. Come on, man. Hurry up. I got shit to do. Push the button on the right. Yeah, that one. Now get those doors open and let's move on with our lives. Hello there, Benny. Always a pleasure. Prepare for a briefing. We have much to discuss. I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, I haven't seen this many white people all in one's place since that Kid Rock concert we went to a few months ago. Jasta, can you read me? Yo, what's up, Red? How's Chicago? Dreary and crowded. Can you help us locate Sweet Baby? We are out front of the Democon National Convention. And it looks like a U2 concert out here. Sure, guys. Give me a minute to ping your location. Make it quick. I'm sensing some of these people are just now realizing we are Autobots. Copy that, Major. I've located Sweet Baby. He's outside the entrance doors to the convention. He's engaged with several Democons currently. Sounds like we better get moving then, Major. Wait here a minute, fellas. I need to get changed real fast. I'm not entirely sure how this works, Prime, but I swear I've seen this movie before. Probably on Cinemax, after dark. Those movies tried to look all sexy, but it just looked like people moving furniture. I'm not familiar with Cinemax after dark. Sorry, guys. I've been working at this place for over a month, and I still feel dirty in that stupid cocktail waitress outfit. So you are a Magabot? Yes, a very well-known Magabot. It's why I had to dye my hair and act like AOC at a keg party every night just to keep up my disguise. My real name is MTG. Now, where did you guys come from? Gator didn't tell me he would be sending me back up. Hey, MTG. I didn't recognize you with the dyed hair and boobs. We aren't here for backup. JRE sent us to find Headshine so we can locate the Oracle. Well, that explains it. I've been here searching for the Oracle myself. I was told this was his favorite gentleman's club, but I haven't seen him. I guess we have something in common. We were just about to go meet up with Head Shine to get his location. Perfect. Do you mind if I tag along? I have a feeling that was Gator's intent all along. We were just looking for the hot dog stand. What did we do wrong? You were told to leave earlier and never come back. Why are you still here, Grifter? Well, 1930s boat captain. I was hungry and ran into this gentleman who was also looking for the hot dog stand. So we went in search of some nutritious Democon footlongs. Yeah, I don't see any prices posted anywhere, but I smelled popcorn earlier. I don't believe you. I went to the website posted on your shirts and the cards you've been handing out. It just takes me to some movie called Am I Racist? Yes, amazing movie. You should check it out. Get out of here! Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Why no? No problem at all, sirs. It sounds like our friend here needs directions to the hot dog stand, and I would encourage you to get to it. Yes, at once, sir. Thank you for reminding me of my privilege, sir. We'll get to it. Okay, guys, just a forewarning. Headshine is very straightforward and to the point. Don't piss him off, please. He doesn't have a lot of patience. I like this guy already. I don't foresee that as an issue. Yo, dogs, what's up? I was wondering what took you so long. What's up, girl? Hey, Gator, that was a great interview you did with former President Prime yesterday. Thanks, girl. Did you know my man has a basketball court in his pool? How baller is that? And he put me in his fantasy football league with Kid Rock and Vivek Ramaswamy. So homie. can we meet Head Shine already? I feel like I'm the only one that gives a shit anymore about finding the Oracle. Not true, Kemosabe. This Head Shine guy sounds a lot like an old friend of mine named Swayze. Good dude. Did I just hear my name? Yo, dogs. this is Headshine, leader of the Ultimate Combat Championship and close friend of the Oracle. How can I help you gentlemen today? Greetings, Headshine. We are the Autobots. We come from the planet Cybertron. We came to Earth to help defeat the Decepticons who have invaded your politics. 
and set your nation towards a path of failure. Well, that's encouraging. Let's step inside and talk more about what needs to be done to right this ship. It's breaking news over here, so get ready for some breaking news with Yafit and Squeak. Come check it out, over here. Thank you, Yafit. And thank you, Planet Earth, I'm Squeak. And I will be bringing you the latest and the best breaking news today. The 2024 NFL season kicked off last night where the Kansas City Chiefs hosted the Baltimore Ravens. The game came down to the final play, where tight end Isaiah likely caught a game-tying touchdown with no time on the clock. Unfortunately, his toe stepped out of bounds, sealing the Kansas City victory. The network then began a series of instant replays from every conceivable angle possible, highlighting the fact that in today's age, no moment is undocumented. Just think about all that. The NFL has more surveillance than China, but the FBI couldn't figure out who brought cocaine into the White House. It's amazing. Maybe we should hire the NFL to do security for the Oval Office, you think? Or how a teenage kid could end up on a roof with a laser pointed at President Prime. Or how a pipe bomb was just sitting next to a bench on January 6th. No camera in sight, am I right? Unfortunately, yes. That poor guy. I bet he's just devastated his toe didn't stay in bounds. Yes, he probably needs some help. That's why he should call You Better Help. You Better Help is a mental health platform that provides direct online counseling and therapy services via web or phone text communication. It was founded in 2013 Man, by- that was close. I mean, look at it. His toe is right there. That's literally inches from going into overtime. I wonder what Taylor Swift's reaction was to this play. It was probably, oh no, the camera isn't on me right now. I should probably write a song about it. A breaking update. Former President Prime was shot at again on his golf course in Florida just now. Secret Service fired shots back. The assassin fled and was captured shortly following in a traffic stop. Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, spoke with Prime shortly following, stating he was in good spirits at his home. What the fuck, man? These assholes won't stop until they destroy him. What do they know about this clown? It's still early, but his name is Ryan Routh, and he is a radical Ukraine worshiper that tried to recruit people to fight in the war. Uh, that's not important. Did he vote for Prime or not? Reports indicate he did in 2016, but there are no other answers yet. Well, those don't matter, do they? All that matters is he voted for Prime and wanted to destroy him. Yes, and he will be well interrogated by the FBI, so expect answers to come quickly. <laughs> well, that was some incredibly convenient timing. Yeah, that was good timing. So, hey, who are you guys? We are the Autobots from the planet Cybertron. We were sent to assist Sweet Baby by our leader, Optimus Prime. Autobots? Cybertron? Man. What are you smoking? He's telling you the truth. We aren't from this planet. We came here to help your nation fend off the Decepticons. Decepticons? Man, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I thought you said your name was Steve? That's not important right now. What is important is locating the Oracle and protecting former President Prime. Why the hell would I want to protect that dictator? Because he was your president. And like him or not, he has been under attack while running for re-election. There have been two attempts to destroy him now. And with the election just weeks away, it would be foolish to assume those will be the only attempts. So what is the Oracle? And why would it protect him? That's something we would like to know as well. Our leader is seeking him out as we speak to find those answers. We are heading back to base to wait for word right now. Mind if I tag along? I believe I've worn out my welcome here. Not at all. Climb aboard and we'll give you a lift. What are your plans, new friend? It's Tantrum. My name is Tantrum, and I have an audition to go to for a new Tarantino movie where I get to play a stereotype white trash bad guy. Sounds amazing. Well, it was nice meeting you. Hopefully we will see you around. Jasta, set a course for Autobot headquarters. Roger that, come aboard and let's get moving. I'll see you guys later, but not as late as you may think. <laughs> Did you say something? Who? Me? No. Safe travels. Damn it! Are you telling me we failed again? Well, sir, I just got here. But from reports I've heard, the shooter did not destroy the target. Why is everyone on this planet so incompetent? That is a very good question. Sorry to interrupt, but you asked me to let you know when Mop had arrived, and well, she's here now, sir. Did I hear my name? What is your report from the Democon convention, Mophead? Everything went smoothly other than Pandarius being injured from a brutal attack. What happened to him? 
He used hate speech and was promptly corrected. He is now in a re-education center while he recovers. So then no one protested our selection of Hyena as the candidate? Not at all. Everyone was completely fine with skipping any official vote from the people. They accepted it completely. Excellent. Now it's time for Kenyantius to launch his plan to overwhelm citizens in sanctuary states with illegal invasion. Well, that's why I'm here. We ran into a small glitch with the Haitian cons eating local pets and park animals. But they invaded the apartments we mapped out and have forced the citizens out. I'm heading to Springfield to speak with our servants. We paid to run interference and keep all these complaints buried under the normal gaslighting agreements we made. Make certain you keep local authorities from releasing any media they have on these complaints. The more we pretend it's not a problem, the more we can blame the Megabots for generating lies. We'll do, Your Excellence. Now let's begin phase three. We must combat the Megabots attack on our DEI system and rally people to protest and demand the documentary Am I Racist be removed from theaters. We cannot allow the people to wake up and see how we manipulate their emotions with lies in the name of democracy. Already begun. I jumped to Reddit and fired up all those young Democons about it, and they jumped on TikTok and already strong-armed several theaters to stop showing it. Perfect. Now it's time to sit with Kimmel, Colbert, and Fallon and plead to the people to stop this hate speech that movie creates and remind the people to colonize their whiteness. So Gator tells me that you guys have been searching for me. Yes, Headshine. We are the Autobots from planet Cybertron. We followed our mortal enemies, the Decepticons yep, here. Yeah, heard all about it. JRE messaged me on Instagram. Excellent. We don't have a lot of time to waste. Where is the Oracle? To seek the Oracle, you just locate that place of inner self and be accepting of the gifts oh, he- for sake. Just take us to this Oracle already. It's been a long day, compadre. And that taco from earlier is kicking my ass. Everybody calm down. <laughs> the Oracle has arrived.